Uh, Director Pardo, it is an extraordinary honor to hear you speak today. Uh, thank you so much for your service to the Jewish people. Uh, my question may sound a little bit like a follow-up to the question that you just answered, but I think it's an important point. Um, lots of countries historically have fared very poorly when thrust into the middle of great power con um, competition. Countries such as Afghanistan and Cuba have really suffered. How do you make sure that Israel does not find itself in the middle of the US-China conflict going forward and suffers because of it? And moreover, if you could just talk a little bit about what you imagine to be the, the Israel-China bilateral relationship. Do, they, do, do the Israelis see China primarily as a security threat, a trading partner, perhaps a prospective military ally? How do you expect that China-Israel relationship to develop? Thank you so very much. Um, do you have any idea um, how much money China invested in the United States during the last 25 years? Do you have the idea? Do you have the idea what's going to happen if China will try to withdraw 50% of their investment in the United States in one day? What are the consequences? I think that, as I said, we are living, we are still living and behaving in the old world. I think that the Chinese, they have a lot of things that put a big threat on other countries because of their own interest, as I said at the very beginning. But I believe that in the in the in the, uh, the second decade of this century, we should think differently. And I am not sure that uh, all the terms that we used uh, and we are still unfortunately using are the right terms because China is there. Okay, I think that there are uh, uh, Israel priority from my point of view is always United States. So as long as the United States uh, 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 say um, put the rules, we should be very careful not to cross them. Okay, because we might lose more than we can win. But I think the United States priority should be changed. I think that when we see the, 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 the uh, 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 China and India and Indonesia and many other countries, that's a new world and new rules. I remember that uh, when I became a director just uh, 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 on the week that uh, we started to see the demonstration, what we called later on the Arab Spring. And I remember that uh, 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 um, that in, in many countries, on that Friday evening when we saw the first demonstration, they uh, um, blocked the internet from the citizen to see what's happening in Egypt. And I remember that I asked a few of my uh, counterparts later on why they did it. They said, look, you don't understand. If we, can, we are seeing a riot in a small village in Egypt, of 2,000 people that are living there, within two seconds, it spread all over the world. And people that do not, uh, do not accept their situation, economic situation, other situation, may try to do the same thing. So we are living in a different world and we must understand it. And, and uh, I, I believe that uh, many things that were done during the last four years, I mean, like, even more than that, I'm not talking about just the last administration, were well, because not they didn't understand that we're living in a different world. Even take the cyber, for instance. I don't want, we don't have enough time, but uh, 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 take the, the, the cyber. The cyber is a new weapon. And it's worse than any weapon that we saw, except the nuclear one. And I'm using the term, really, that uh, uh, cyber warfare is like a silent nuclear weapon. You can create enormous damage. 
without blood in the streets. And there is no understanding of the threat. Just see what's happening, what's happening now in the United States. And uh, once there was a president, uh, American president, uh, his name was uh, uh, Eisenhower, President Eisenhower. And he uh, uh, thought at the 50s that the nuclear power uh, can endanger the world. And he created the IAEA as part of the United Nations that limited nuclear uh, power and uh, made a lot, a huge change. Otherwise, this plant wouldn't exist anymore. Okay, there are always going to be some countries that will not accept. But if 99.9% .9 or 96% of the countries accept the new rules, we'll have a different world.